What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at a new product that is kind of an older product. Um, the Coca-Cola logo uh, silver bars and coins and bottle caps uh, that are exclusive from Atmex. So I was just curious because I get, <clears throat> if you guys don't uh, shop with Atmex, um, Atmex, if you have their app, they send you like little, um, I guess, things through your phone, as I call them. They're like aver quick advertisements. But they just released their Coke products today. And they're going with the classic Coca-Cola design. And it's really interesting. So like something like this here, the very first uh, COA with product number one, obviously it is sold out and we don't know what it sold for. But here you got uh, number one, two, three, four, five. So for whatever reason, those sell super, super fast. Um, and then they also have a vintage uh, four ounce silver bar, which is kind of interesting. Um, but again, I don't know what they ended up selling those for, but I think that's this one here. Um, but anyways, the question was, do does it make sense to buy something like this or are you kind of just like overpaying for um, something that's pretty much going to be worth what silver is worth, um, which isn't bad, right? Silver keeps going up, but that's that's a conversation for another channel. But anyways, wanted to get your guys' uh, thoughts on something like this. So they're kind of going with a vintage. I wouldn't really call this vintage. I would call this like antique because um, I consider myself kind of vintage being the age of, um, you know, being born in the uh, 70s. But um, I don't remember stuff looking like this in the 70s when I was a kid. So um, I would say this is more antique. But anyways, uh, here's a very unique 4-ounce colorized bar that they sell for two nineteen, And then they always have like these guys here where it's the just like a 1-ounce bar. And they I think Atmix does a nice job. Obviously, they have to pay Coke um, some sort of royalties on their stuff and then here's like an old this one's kind of cool it's only a six gram bottle cap so 79 bucks pretty steep for it but they make it like like they like antique it i guess and it actually is a coin uh from new Nui. this is kind of cool too oh it comes with two pieces so it, it, they give you well i wonder if this bottle cap remover actually works and if so um is it is that actually made out of silver too Let's see. That's very interesting. Oh, they only made 250 of these, so probably not going to see this at your local coin shop. I just wonder, like, stuff like this, though, if they only make 250, if it's something that's going to be really expensive later on. Um, it says contains 0 0.1920, so it's only for the bottle cap. Um, there you go. The bottle, the bottle opener does not contain precious metal. So... And then here's what like their the classic bottle caps look like. So again, do you guys collect this kind of stuff? I want to say this is more for someone that is into um, what they call it semi numismatic silver. So it's basically like, hey, this is going to be collectible one day. But is it really collectible? Is it really worth investing in stuff like this? Or like here's the classic polar bear. It's kind of cool. I think it's the first time like that's a classic commercial. Now I would say that's vintage because that's that's more from what the 90s early 2000s advertising um, but anyways oh here's their one ounce colorized with tin and certificate that's pretty cool so like something like that in a display case really catches your eye but I don't know guys is this like a waste of space <laughs> waste of space in your safe I mean, it's cool looking, but does a, is a coin shop really going to give you more than, you know, are you are they going to pay you basically like 50 bucks if you're bringing this in the shop today to sell? I guess it all depends on what the comp show, right? Because some coin shops are different. Some actually use eBay as comparable sales. Others are like, yeah, I don't care what this is. I, I'm only going to sell it for close to spot, which begs the question, if you find stuff like this at your local coin shop, like let's say you found this, right? Um, maybe not this design. I think this is an older design, but like if you found this at your coin shop for like 30 bucks, um, is that make sense to pick up since obviously they're selling them for 38, but let's see what these actually sell for. I can answer the question that we all want to know. 
So they're very, very popular. So we have 1,700 sales. Now I put Coca-Cola Silver, so I'm kind of generic here, but here's, wow, holy smokes. This is crazy. So there's a 75th anniversary. So this bar came out in 1975. It was only one ounce, and holy smoke, someone just paid $338. That is some serious money for something from 1975, so the year before I was born. That's crazy. I had no idea that stuff was worth that much. Here's a more traditional one that it's got the three cans in the or three bottles in the back. So that sold for 35. That's probably more modern. And then let's see what else we got here. Wow, these actually sell. So the 2018 one, Ultra Cameo. So they made a proof version of that. Unbelievable. I had no idea. Sold for 150. That's crazy. So I guess like if someone were to buy the bottle cap from Atmex, if there's even a proof version, um, so let's say you got the bottle cap for 25 bucks or 30 bucks, and then you got it authenticated, but then you'd have to get like NGC to do a special, like this is a special label. That's probably why they sold for so much, but yeah, I had no idea. So I think I've only bought and sold a few Coca-Cola related um, bars or maybe one ounce rounds in the past so i guess there's something to say so anytime you combine something that's very popular uh looks like you can do all right with it although this one just sold for 28 so anyways guys what do you think let me know in the comments have you ever bought a coca-cola branded silver bar it looks like atmex cornered the market on this and they've been cornering the market but is this something that you've bought um, did you have any idea that it's worth this much? Like any older guys uh, and gals that collect vintage silver bars, do you have this 1975 made Coca-Cola bar? And if you do, please <laughs> don't, don't take spot for it because it's worth like a hundred times spot. Like that's a jackpot right there. That's amazing. And that's on, that's on bid too. I wonder what that's really worth probably worth even more than that if someone's way willing to pay 338 but again just curious guys if you've ever bought stuff like this um, or is this kind of gimmicky i mean these look really cool but again like at the end of the day it's just one ounce of silver but i guess if they're limited like this one's pretty cool i guess that's something uh, you can invest in because you're kind of hitting a double market you're hitting someone that likes to collect coca-cola and obviously it's backed by the value of silver so anyways, as always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know in the comments, again, if you've ever bought Coca-Cola-related bars. Look at this one. Dude, who's this guy? 75 years of refreshing Birmingham? What kind of bar is this? That came out in 1977. Someone just bought this for 89 bucks. I don't know, pretty cool. Again, I didn't know they made silver with Coca-Cola on it. But I put it this way, if you see some older rounds or I'm sorry, bars, they don't have to be big and if they have Coca-Cola on it and they look old and vintage like this or 75th anniversary from the 70s and you see that in some dude's collection or at the coin shop and they're asking close to spot, dude, grab that, sell it on eBay and then turn that and get yourself some, you know, other metals or maybe some more get silver dollars or something. That's crazy. I had no idea these are worth that much. So as always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.